What's going on, guys? Come on, boys. Thank you. Welcome back to the second episode of the Barcelona 2018-2019 FIFA career mode here on the channel. So before giving you the results of the poll and who we are going to buy for this Barcelona career mode, let's play the last match of the group stages of the Asian Elite Club or the International Champions Cup, however you want to call it. We are in serious trouble. <laughs> We are in serious trouble because we lost against Spurs and we drew against Bayern, which is not good. And we have a very bad goal difference, if I if I may be honest. Look at that, minus two. It's not looking good. It's really not looking good, but let's hopefully we get a win. We're going to play the same team, although I'm going to push Sergio Roberto to the right-hand side. And Alenia and the Young having complete that uh, three-man midfield. And I'm also allowing Nelson Samero to come in from as a substitute because I think he's... Just speed is going to help us so much if we need extra goals or we need to come back, which, to be honest, could be a real possibility. I'm going to try a different kit because we've been really bad with our home kit. So perhaps that's a, a thing we need to change. So let's go right away to the second match against Urawa Reds from Japan. And let's see if we can get the win. And obviously, or Korea. I don't think it is. I think it's Japan. I give... I give I hope it's Japan. <laughs> I really hope it's Japan. And, um, well, just like always, guys, if you enjoy this, please remember to drop us a like and subscribe because it's already taken a long time to do this, guys. And just like always, every Monday, well, today, every Wednesday, and every Friday, we have a new episode. So hopefully you enjoy. But now let's go and beat the Asian club, which I don't know if it's Korean or Japanese. Yeah, they're from Japan. <laughs> Urawa Red Diamonds. Yeah, they're for Japan, thankfully. And we're changing stadiums finally. So hopefully this is a good sign. Let's see if we can get the win. Vamos, Barça. Uh, I'm also having another change in the center back positions. I've played with Juan Miranda. You can see him right now. You can see Juan Miranda there. No way, that pass is too strong, Alcácer, come on, you can do better than that. Okay, finally we score. Alenia, good job. Oh, what a goal, Paco Alcácer. <laughs> Qué buen gol. Qué buen gol. Ay, 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 no me dejó. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. What a good goal, Paquito. Ay, Paquito, me hace tan feliz. It makes me so happy to see that this guy is actually scoring and not actually a pile of trash. I thought he was coming out of sight. And look at that. Boom, that stop right there. That stop really neglated. Look at the passing. Look at the passing. It's insane. Boom, Dennis. This is a goal. This is a goal. That's a goal from Dennis Suarez. He's here to stay, isn't he? Look at him wearing the captain's R band. Oh, what a pass. What a pass onto Martinus. Ooh, what a goal. That's a pretty good goal, Ortola. You should have been much better there. But what a goal. Look at that pass. No chance for Cucurella. And then Martinus. Boom. Who's this guy? Quentin Martinus. Interesting. Never heard of him. Ah, oh, I tried. I should have just shot the ball. I just should have shot. Slatan winning the header. <laughs> How ir ironic is that? Paquito, there we go. Celebrate like you want to. On to Alenia. On to Arnais. Ooh, Arnais, what a goal. You ask for him and he will appear. Very good play from our guys right there. That's what I wanted to see. Look at that. 
boom back of the net very good from McNeese very impressed with him thus far okay that's a complete mistake from the guy but from the Japanese um, defender but Munir gets his goal so good thing for Munir right there and I almost forgot to celebrate that goal <laughs> so I just did whatever thing first came to mind yeah, I'm gonna bring Vermelin in because Marlon Santos is dying currently. Oi! <laughs> no. We are not gonna kill that last goal. But we're gonna win 6 1 no matter what. And that's gonna be a very good result for us. And hopefully we're through. I think we're through. 19 shots! Damn. And you can see Frankie the Young was our best player. Bayern beat Spurs 3 2, which it's good. But it's not as good as our 6 1 victory over the Usawa Red Diamond. So we're gonna have the semifinal against Manchester United. But now we need to tell you we need to talk about transfers. So let's go ahead to our transfer hub. So first thing I would like to say guys is many many thanks for your votes and your or your contributions in last video. It's been absolutely amazing seeing all your feedback and well you have decided you have decided which player you would like me to buy and that player goes by the name of Thiago Alcantara. Yes, you want me to buy Thiago Alcantara from Bayern Munich. And I gotta say, it's a very smart decision. Like I said on my video where we talk about Thiago, I think Thiago is probably one of the best players Barcelona could get this transfer window. So I agree with you and let's go right ahead and buy Thiago. Unfortunately, we cannot buy all the players you want, guys. Obviously, we can because we have the money, but we gotta keep it realistically. So we're gonna go with Thiago Alcantara because that's what you voted. So how do we go about the owl? Do we have any player we can offer? Any player we might sell? What about Paulinho? Would Bayern be interested in Paulinho? Because we need to get rid of him. You want a right winger, huh? Um, we have De Lofeo. So what about De Lofeo? Are you interested in that Bayern Munich? Oh, okay, you are. But that's a lot of money. I'm not ready to pay all about that money. So let's go around. I think something around... 42 plus 30 million 34 that actually cost that if it would be good. Oh, you want 90? You're mad? Nah, 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 nah. This guy is mad. 53. You still want 93? That's a lot of money. Come on, guy. What the hell? What the hell? You need to understand here. Okay, you're gonna take some time to think about it? Okay, I understand. And something else, guys, that happened in today's video. Well, yeah, in today's video is that. Manchester United paid the release clause for Lucas Digne. And the thing is that, just in real life, as I'm recording this, Everton has bid for Lucas Digne for around the same amount of money, I think. The release clause is 29, and Everton bid around 25, uh, 25 million pounds. So it's kind of like the same amount of money. So it's actually kind quite, quite realistic. But the thing is that if we sell Digne, then we would have Cucurella and Juan Miranda, which, to be honest, are very, 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 very young and I don't know if they will be able to fit the role of left back right now, Korean the Barcelona. I think that in one more season they will, but for this career mode, I don't think they are ready. I really don't think they're ready. Like they won't be able to cover enough ground for Jorge Alba. The gap will just be too big. So I gotta say the I guess that I think that with Lucas Digne, I need to give him some sort of contract renewal because he needs to stay at the club no matter what i really really think he should stay because it's just insane if we have someone like gurel or milana playing in that position they need one more season to to get better you understand at least one more because look at that from 81 from 71 it's just too much it's just just too much so i'm gonna go and renew him for two more years perhaps i don't know let's see how it goes Rotation, perfect. He knows, like, both in real life and in game, he knows it's going to be rotation. Four years. Uh, what about three years? Okay, you accept that. That's fine. Look at his ears. My God. He looks like Ratatouille from from that Disney Pixar movie or Disney movie. I think it's Pixar. Okay, so 120. Okay, I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you 1 million bonus. I'm going to give you the same wages. I think he's going to accept that. He actually wants less. So, Luca Digne, be my guest. Be my guest. Be my guest. I'm sorry, guys, if you do not agree, but we need to keep a player like him in our squad. We need to be able to have good backup players in our squad. 
So we have an update on Tiao. Now they reduced the fee to 72 million for Yara de la Fe as well in the deal included. So I'll actually go with it because it's not too bad of a deal to be honest with you. And let's negotiate now his contract. He wants to be crucial, I understand that. I, I'm thinking I could give you important because I don't know if I'm going to play Universal game, but oh, he wants crucial. Well, understandably, you are 89 rated. That's a lot. In real life as well, you're very, very good. Four years, I'm going to give you four years. Disregard release clause. I don't want to release clause, although that's a lot of money. Yeah, let's accept it. That's a lot of money. Salary, 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 salary. I'm going to give you 250 and then 2 million bonuses. Hopefully you agree. Sometimes you need to like give a little bit of weight. They want less. They want less. I don't know what's wrong with this career mode, but they want less. This is insane. Okay, now that's understandable. Boom. So we got Tiago in our squad. And with Tiago, I'm very happy we got Tiago, to be honest with you. I'm like kind of smiling while I'm talking about this. We got Tiago and I like this. But so that now we got Tiago, we need to fix our our shirts because I want Alenia currently holds oh my god Alenia currently oh fuck they messed it up currently Alenia has our number eight shirt as you can see here and I don't think he really has earned himself that title of having that eight shirt but Thiago in the other sense I think he has so I'm gonna give the number eight to Thiago currently and then see if something else opens up for Alenia currently I'm gonna give him the I think in, he was a 28 when he has played for Barcelona, so I'm giving him the 28 right now. But we still need to sell some players. We need to sell a lot of players, to be honest with you. But first, we gotta play against Manchester United in the semifinals because obviously that 6 1 win against Urawa Red Diamonds, which is insane. But um, let's continue now. Adrian Ortola re rejected. Oh, I should have accepted that offer because we already signed on Nana. But we need him for the, for the preseason tour. We need him right now. So Jasper Silsen sold. Okay, that's understandable. And now we have a loan for Sergi Samper, which to be honest, could be quite interesting because Derby County, obviously, as we know, are in the are in the Premier League now. So I think that he will get a good point in time at, at Derby County. And I would actually loan him in real life as well. So I'm going to take this offer from Derby County. I think he's, they're a good club, which are certainly going to give him a lot of playing time for Sergi Samper. So I'm going to go with that. Sometimes you need to be very careful where you loan your players because sometimes you loan a player and they go to like... Bayern Munich and obviously they're not gonna play at Bayern Munich so you need to be very 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 careful so now we're gonna see our squad now let's see if we have somebody returning from international duty no nobody has returned yet Rakitic is here but in real life he went all the way to the semi-final so I don't think it's fair to use him right now so I'm gonna keep him there because he won't be part of the tour so we're gonna play with Vermalen, Cucurella, Santos, Roberto, De Jong, Suarez, Aleña, Munir, Alcacer and Arnais. I think that's going to be fine. So now let's go ahead and play against Manchester United, which certainly are also going to be very, very packed with some good players because they got some players who are not in the World Cup, which, to be honest, are pretty, pretty decent. So let's go again, Manchester United, and let's get a win, hopefully. Stadio Hanguk. Hang, Hanguk. Hanguk. <laughs> I don't know. You see there, they got Matic, they got Fellaini. They got some decent players as well. So let's see what we can do against this Manchester United side. Hopefully we can get the win. Vizca Barça, vamos. Somebody said I was really bad at FIFA, so I really want to prove him wrong against a club like Manchester United. Open up for Munir. An opening for Munir. Can we get an opening for Munir? Ah, oh, Munir. Munir needs to work on his finishing. He really needs to work on his finishing. Look at that. His stature, his pose. He needs to put enough power on the ball, which currently he doesn't have. Arnaiz with Paquito. Denis, Denis, Denis. Good pass on to Aleña. Aleña. Oh my god. Oh, that's a foul. Yep. Get out. I don't care about you. Phil Jones. I, I'm, I almost got to say Paul Jones. I forgot his name. I'm sorry about that, Phil. Now we got a free kick chance for Denis Suarez. Denis Suarez actually good in free kicks? I don't know. I'm going to try something fun. Paco with a shot. Yeah, that's a go. Every single day. That's a cheeky, cheeky tactic, but it worked. I'm going to do which celebration. I'm going to do this one. Boom. Stealing Lewandowski's, Lewandowski's celebration here today. Paco Alcacer. 
That's a great goal. Look at that. Just cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Waiting for Paco Alcázar to be completely unmarked. He walks towards the ball and then bang into the back of the net. No chance for the keeper. Can we get there with a player? Yeah, we can, Aleña. Very good. Marlon Santos. Now on to Cerro Roberto. Cerro Roberto looking for Munir. Munir. Paco Alcázar waiting for the run of somebody else. Gonna pass it back onto Young just to keep it safe. Paco Alcázar looking now for the Young. The Young is gonna find her. Is that offside? No, it's offside. It's not offside. Jose Arnaiz of the post. Young stone. No. <laughs> oh, wasn't that a goal? Oh, the pressure from Arnaiz. This is a goal for Arnaiz. This is a goal for Arnaiz. Arnaiz. ¿Qué haces? Fellaini now. On to Chong. Andre Gomez! Andre Gomez! No, Andre Gomez! That's gonna be a goal from Andre Gomez. I already know it. I already know it. This is destiny on our hands. It's gonna be a goal from Andre. Oh, no. Ooh, Paquito. Samper with the ball now. Ooh, Samper is winning it all completely. To Paco. Paco Alcácer with the goal. Oh, there we go. Paco Alcácer gets his brace. Su doblete for Paquito Alcácer. And now he's gonna steal another striker. <laughs> the celebration in Diwala. Look at that, the fight from Samperi in that one was insane. On to Paquito Alcázar for the next goal. Great goal from Paco Alcázar, great match from Alcázar. Whenever Andre Gomez touched the ball, it was really dangerous for United. So, fair, fair job, or or I don't know what you say in English, for Andre Gomez. He did well. Ooh, so it's going to be Spurs in the final. The team who beat us time again, last time. We're gonna face them in the final. Interesting. It's interesting. Very, very interesting. But to be honest with you, do we need to make any more signings? We need. I think we need to make a forward signing. Although we may keep our nice, so that could also be a possibility. I don't know what you guys want, so I'll I'll make that the second vote of the video. Do we need to make a signing for up top? Do we, like do we need to make a signing for our forward players? Do you think we need to make a signing up there? I think our midfield is kind of done because we got Busquets, we got Rakitic, we got Coutinho and, well, Antiao. But up front, up front, we got Dembele, Paco, Suarez and Messi. Do we need somebody else? And Arnaiz probably. Do you think we need somebody else? Let me know. Let me know in the poll in the top right. Let me know. Let me know. I want to see. Do we need to make any more signings? That's going to be the question. Any more signings? And if what signing do we need? Let me know in the comment box down below. But so for now, we got to play the matches against Spurs. And I want to really play the match against Sevilla. I'm going to play the first leg against Sevilla. So that's the things I'm going to do in this video. So now we got to play the final against Spurs, which is our first final. Which I don't know if you can count as a final, to be honest. But, well, here in FIFA they do. Do we have any new players coming in from International Duty? No, we don't. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this formation that's been working really good for us. And let's see what we can do against Spurs. Hopefully we can get the win. So here we go. Our first final. I don't know if it's a final, but yeah, you understand what I mean. Boom. Can we do this? I think we can. We should be able to win this. Let's go, Barca. Vamos. Aleña, Cucurella, 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 back to the Young, the Young, number seven with the Young, ooh, the Young, very nice, the shot from inside the box from the Young, ooh, it's gonna get intercepted just right away from one of the Spurs players. Vermelin is really short, I never knew Vermelin was that short, oh, well, it was against Llorente. Look at this pass, boom, what a good pass. Paquito Casa with a shot. Oh, Paco Alcázar, what a goal. Good job, Paco Alcázar. Still in another celebration. This time, Ronaldo's. <laughs> Great goal. That pass was insane. Look at that pass of Sarri Roberto. Boom. Into Paco Alcázar. Paco Alcázar, very good using his body. And then shot. You see, I just needed to get myself into the rhythm of playing. Spurs through the left-hand side with the flag. Trying to look for somebody in the space is going to be... Oh, Llorente with a shot. No chance at all. Get out. Now can we start the counter-attack? Can we start the counter-attack? No, we can't because Ben Davis is going to get to it first. Josh Onomoa. Oh my god, look at Mora. How can they be so lucky with a rebound? Ooh, what a shot. Vamos. Ooh, almost a chance for Lucas again. Lucas is the most dangerous player for Spurs right now, to be honest. And we cannot... 
half continuous passes after the goal. It seems like Spurs has ramped up the pressure, and perhaps so do I. So do us. Great job there. Alen I, oh my god, you cannot give it away. Ooh. Thank god it was their CDM one Yama and not somebody like Llorente. Llorente now on the run. Vermelen, can you catch it up? No. There we go, Roberto. Why are you doing, Roberto? Oh. Come on, Arnais! Arnais, no! No te puedo creer. No te lo puedo creer lo que acabo de ver. Arnais, Arnais, Arnais. Ar no, 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 no. I will not allow that. I will not allow that. I that was that was that was horrible. That was so bad. Come on, Arnais, come on. This is your Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it every single day. I'll take it. 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 I don't care that I don't care if it's an own goal. I don't care. I don't care. But that was going in either way. That was going in either way. That was really going in either way. <laughs> we are crazy lucky. We are crazy lucky. This is the YouTube luck. The YouTube luck. Ooh, guys, you see Gerard Piquet is injured about four months. That's not good news. That's really, really not good news. And here is why. Because if we take into account the players that won't be playing IRL in, in the Copa, in the Supercopa de España against Sevilla, Gerard Piquet was only one of our few center backs which will be able to play that. Lenglet will be a star in that game because Umtiti and obviously Vermeling are out. Oh my god, are you telling me I've been playing Vermeling all this time when Vermeling shouldn't be playing? I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. I can't believe my. I can't believe this shit I've been doing. Ah, uh, but well. Oh no, you're not taking Roberto. You are not taking Roberto. Did you see that Munir wants to take Roberto? No, Munir. No, what am I saying? AC Milan want to take Roberto out of our squad. No way. We're gonna contract negotiate him right now. So, rotation, yeah, I mean, if you want to be a rotational player, okay, but I'm going to play you as a crucial player, in, in my eyes. Four eyes, no release clause. That's a really low release clause, so no release clause. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Wages, eh, fine, I'll accept that. I really don't care because you are one of the best players, and if you say you want to be a rotational player, then that's fine by me. And, and what was I talking about? Yeah, we need to see which players are going to be able to play that Sevilla Cup. So I'm actually using Vermeulen. I understand. I remember why I said that thing about Vermeulen. I'm using Vermeulen as it was Lenglet in the initial time here. Because Lenglet obviously... Ooh. We, let me just finish. Because Lenglet obviously uh, isn't in the World Cup. So I'm like shifting that around. So once we get Lenglet, obviously Lenglet will become Lenglet and Vermeulen will become Vermeulen. So Vermeulen won't be able to play the Supercopa de España. But now we have a transfer offer for Rafinha from Bayern Munich. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's see if I can get a little bit more money for it because I think I can. So here is the offer for Bayern Munich. It's 34 million um, 34, foul, yeah, 34 million and 800,000. So I'm going to offer, I'm going to say a little bit more. I'm going to say, what about you give me 40? I think 40 will be fine for me. So give me 40, give me 40. You want 34 as well. Shut up. Um, 38 with eight. What about that? Okay. Okay. I'll give you that. That's fine by me. So Rafinha will probably be leaving out to Bayern Munich, which to be honest is a very good move for both the club and the player. I think Rafinha will certainly help Bayern Munich out now that obviously Thiago Alcantara is out there with us again. And Rafinha is a player which obviously he's probably going to depart the club no matter what. So I don't think that's a really, really big thing that we are departing with. Um, we are departing with, we're parting ways with, with him right now. So what else do we have in mind here? Let's see. The Young are nice. Are nice going up to a 77. That's good. The Young with still with 78. I think the Young should be now an 80, to be honest. He's really been playing that good. But do we need to make any signings? Again, I repeat. Do you want me to make any more signings? Because we have the money. We can buy any other player. Basically, any player outside here. 
So if you want me to get a new center midfielder, a new forward, tell me guys, tell me down below in the comments and on the poll, do we need to sign somebody else? And tell me who else do we need to sign? We already signed Thiago, which is very, very good. And we sold now Rafinha, which is realistic as well. Paco has three, oh, three weeks injured. That's not going to be good for us. So just like I told you, leave me down below which players do you want to sign if we need to sign any more players or do you want me to stay with Alenia and Arnaiz and obviously the young players. So tell me down below who do you want me to sign if we need to sign him first of all and tell me that. So now we have to focus on the Supercopa España on the first leg which is going to be the last match of this episode and now we got obviously our complete squad. So let's change it up. So obviously Ter Stegen is going to be our main goalkeeper. No, no changes in that. Obviously like I said... Uh, Umtiti is not going to be there. So we're gonna probably going to be playing with Lenglet and Yerimina. That's going to be something really interesting to see. Yerimina, obviously, I want to sell Vermeulen. Ooh, that's going to be very interesting. I want to make another poll. So not, right now, another poll. Who should we sell? Yerimina or Vermeulen? Yerimina or Vermeulen? Tell me up top in the poll again. Another poll. Do you want to sell Yerimina or Vermeulen? Right now, I'm going to keep Yerimina in the squad to play the Supercopa España. So let's see how he goes. But tell me up here, do you want Yerimina or Vermeulen? So those two in the center back positions. For the right, I'm going to go with Sergio Roberto, I think. Yeah, Sergio Roberto will be able to play this match. Oh, no. In fact, he won't. He won't be able to play. He's still suspended from last season, obviously, for that punch onto Marcelo. So he won't be able to play. So Semedo will be there. Cucurella for the left. Jorreva will most probably be able to play this game. I think he will. He'll be coming very strong in it. Um, Busquets will also be able to play this game, so I'm going to go right ahead and put Busquets in there. Benny Suarez could also play this game, but we can Rakitic and Thiago will also be able to... And Rakitic, in fact, won't be able to play it, so it won't be Thiago. I'm going to give it to Thiago, and we're going to go with the Young. So the Young, Busquets, and Thiago will be the starters for this game, I think. Or probably Denny Suarez. Denny Suarez should also start. He's been playing really, really good. Who should we give a gift to? The Young or Denny Suarez? I think Denny Suarez is a little bit more attacking, but... Tiao is also the same thing, so the young could give us a lot of balance there. So I'm gonna go with the young, in fact. I'm gonna go with the young in this one. And then up top we got Suarez, obviously. Messi. Where is Messi? Obviously. The melee can't play. The melee race member can't play. Ooh, what am I saying? I'm stupid. Boom! Coutinho, come in. Or should we put Coutinho for the left here? Hmm. I'm gonna put Coutinho here. I'm gonna put Coutinho there. So let's fix our substitutes now. Um, obviously, Umtiti can't play, so I'm going to put Onana, our goalkeeper that we bought to replace Silisan. So Arnaiz can be here. Marlon Santos needs to be there because he's the only other player we can put. Munir for Rotola. Roberto. Roberto can't be there. So Roberto out. We're going to put Alenia. And can we put anybody else in the squad? Denis Suarez, obviously. So Denis Suarez, there we go. So there's going to be our squad for today. I'm going to fix this here because I'm, I have OCD with this. So there, um, there, there, no, there, yeah, so, no, there. <laughs> so that's going to be our squad for this matchup. I repeat once again, Ter Stegen in the goal. We're going to have Lenglet and Guerrimina as the two main center backs. Semedo for the right, Jorge Alba for the middle, Busquets, De Jong, and Thiago, our new signing. Suarez, Messi, and Coutinho starting up front. Let's see if we can get the win against Sevilla. Obviously, this first match, I think, is going to be at home. If I'm not wrong, or away, it's going to be at home. So basically, let's go ahead and get the win. Once again, guys, before the match, I want to say, vote in the top right corner. Should we sign another player or should we continue with the squad we currently have? Comment up top, tell me that. And also tell me, do you want to see um, sh who should we keep, Vermelen or Yerimina? It's going to be a debate. Minina or, Ye or Vermelen? Tell me up top as well. Are you going to show me the squads? I don't think they are. So Busquets is going to be our captain today. We're going to have Ter Stegen. That's going to be Semedo. Yerimina, of course. Number, who's that? Number 15 is Lenglet. Lionel Messi. No, it's Giorrialo. In fact, Thiago. Then De Jong. And I cannot get to see the player behind De Jong. I'm going to guess it's Messi. Yeah, it's Messi, you see? And then we have Suarez and Coutinho to finish off. Let's see, guys, if we can get the win. I hope we can. Vamos, Barça. Let's win this. Obviously the most important game so far, so let's wish us wish me good luck. Very good from the young now. The young The Young gets an amazing goal. Vamos! I th I thought it went out. I thought it went out. But look at that. The young no caring about anything. Boom boom. Get out. And then for the narrowest angle, 
De Jong gets a goal. He's going to be a star. I already know it. De Jong is going to be a Barcelona legend. Oh, Messi. On to Coutinho. This is going to be a goal. Oh, my God. Philippe. That should have been a goal. That really should have been a goal. I should have put less power on that shot and a little bit more accuracy. No way, no way, Yerry Mina. That's the thing that needs to improve about Yerry Mina. Oh my god, look at that. Where was he? Where was he? Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. No way, no way, no way. There's a good match for you to think about very, very hard whether you want Yerry Mina or not. I want him, but he still needs to improve. Now the attack for Sevilla back again. Ben Yedder just killing it. Killing it. Oh my god. Good job, Jerry. No way. How lucky can you be? How lucky can you be? Are you kidding me? How lucky can you be? Vamos! Okay, we still have time for another goal. We still have time for another goal. Se me es lo único que te pido. Es lo único que te pido que en esa puta pelota. Es lo único que te pido. Oh my god. No, 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 no. How is this happening? God, you know what? I f fuck, fuck. Four matches. We're gonna play four matches. We're gonna play four matches in this game. We're gonna play four matches in this episode. We're gonna play four matches. I don't care. We need to play. I need to play another game. I cannot go like this. I need to play that other game. I really need to play that other game. So let's train really fast, are nice. I already know what we need. Sevilla are gonna pressure us really, really hard. So we need somebody else in the midfield to be allow us to have to get away from that quick pressure. Somebody like Coutinho needs to drop, drop back. So I'm gonna put Coutinho in the midfield, and I'm gonna need somebody else up top. But I don't know who could that be. I don't know who could that be. So Coutinho will drop in the midfield. Sorry about the young for now, but I need somebody else. I'm gonna put Onar nice up top. It's the only thing we can really do, to be honest. Or we could go for Denis Suarez up top. Mm, no, I'm gonna stick with Fornais. So, Mama Harsa, let's do this. <laughs> I'm really salty. We gotta win. I gotta win this. I gotta win this. Okay, guys, so here we are playing against Sevilla second leg. And I'm salty as fuck. And I need to win this game. I really need to win this game. Because I'm fucking fuming against Sevilla. I really do not like them. And I want to win this game no matter what. I swear, when, you, when you're recording videos in YouTube, it makes everything much more harder. And the worst part is that Sevilla is ultra defensive. And I hate that. Why can't you be Thiago or somebody else who can shoot outside the box? Why does it have to be Busquets? Puta madre, do you see? And Sons is absolutely everywhere. I'm just asking one simple pass of you, Busquets. You're playing fucking terrible. You just need to sit back. Okay, okay, what the hell? Okay, offside, thank you. Busquets, you just need to... Don't move. Busquets, don't move. Just stay there. Just stay there. Don't move. Pero, pero, Busquets, por favor. Busquets is so freaking bad this game. I swear to God, he's playing so bad. If Busquets doesn't improve for the next half, I'm going to change him. I really, really going to change him. I'm going to change him. I don't care if he's our most important player. Well, apart from Messi, but I'm going to change him. I'm going to put the young in there. I swear. So yes, team is full of little like quickies and like trucks. The best perfect combination to win a game of FIFA. And plus they have. 
a, a truck which is good technically, which is just insane in Franco Vasquez. Look at that! How can Alex Alex says is like fucking Mr. Fantastic? Like he can stretch himself so far. That's not a foul. Eso no es una falta, árbitro de mierda. I swear that's Mateo Laos. Que joda, que joda es jugar contra el Sevilla. Que joda es jugar contra el Sevilla. I'm sorry, Busquets. I'm really, truly sorry. But get the fuck out of my sight. You've been playing horrendously. Yeah, Messi, vamos. Oh my god. This is so. This has been one of the worst games I've ever played in my life. Such a struggle. Such a stupid team. Ben Yedder, which is so lucky. And in Sonsi, which is just a pile of trash. Okay, he's really good, but so annoying. <laughs> like, in Sonsi is so good. Yerimina, where are you? My god, his position is sucks. Yerimina, Yerimina, what the hell? This is the only thing that I blame on Yeremina. His positioning is such a bad thing. Like, my god. Okay, okay, okay. That's stupid for my part. I'm sorry about that. I should have just shot. Puta madre. It's on scene. It's on scene. It's fucking everywhere. I'm about to cry. So fuck this shit. Did I really just waste that stupid chance? Ay, yo real, te odio. Tercera, agárrala. Tercera, agárrala. Oye, más falta que la. No te puedo creer ni un poquito. Ay, ah, Dios santo. How did I just lose that to Sevilla? Puta madre, la puta madre que te parió Sevilla de mierda. Ay, la concha de tu puta madre Sevilla, vete a la mierda. No puedo creer que acaba de perder eso. I can't believe I just lost that. For fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. How did I lose to Sevilla? This is just fucking stupid. Okay, guys, I'm telling you, it's all up to you. We need... Okay, I'm the manager and you're the board. I'm telling you the board. I need a winger. A fast winger who isn't Arnaiz. Arnaiz, okay, is decent. But we need somebody else. We need a fast guy. Somebody who's... Okay, Arnaiz is fast. But you understand what I mean? Somebody who's a lot of dribbling, a lot of that. I need something like that. I need somebody like him. But just a little bit better than Arnaiz right now. A little bit better. Who can come out from impact when Dembele is not in. Dembele, look at him. He's amazing. But he cannot play right now. Just he, about now he can play. We need somebody like Dembele. And I need somebody in the midfield who's strong. I need a box-to-box. -box. I need Kante. If you allow me to get Kante, I will get him. I need somebody like him. Because, to be honest, I'm just getting destroyed in the midfield. I'm getting destroyed in the midfield. I need somebody else in that midfield. So, please, guys. Please, it's up to you. Do we need to buy more players? Yes, I think so. But you get the final vote. And at the end of the day, do we need to get a new forward? And who should we get? And also, who should we get as a midfielder? We need somebody else in the midfield and somebody else up front. Please, guys, get me those players. Please. Please. I... Oh, como perdi contra Sevilla. How did I lose against Sevilla, la puta madre? How in the world did I lose against Sevilla? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. At least I give it my all. Fuck. Fuck, guys. Fuck. So hopefully guys you have enjoyed. Please remember to drop us a like and leave us a subscribe. And comment down below and vote. Vote, vote, vote. Vote. See you next one. Take care. Ciao.